So anemia is a condition in which your blood lacks enough healthy red blood cells. These red blood cells contain hemoglobin. Hemoglobin is a type of protein that binds to oxygen and delivers oxygen to different parts of the body. So when you have anemia, you have insufficient number of healthy red blood cells, you have a low hemoglobin level and therefore you do not get enough oxygen that is required for your body to carry out its daily activities. So whenever you have anemia, what you would notice is that people, people start telling you that you have started looking very pale. Your complexion becomes very pale. You start feeling very tired. So you do not have your usual energy levels to carry out your activities as you used to have. Apart from that, you can have poor mental concentration. You can feel lethargic, dull, tired all the time. These all can be symptoms of anemia. Apart from that, there can be certain cosmetic effects also. You could have thin, brittle nails. You could have loss of hair. And basically, the will to do anything is just not there when you are anemic. Now, the causes of anemia can be multiple. It could be something as simple as nutritional anemia, where you have insufficient iron, vitamin B12 or folic acid in your diet, which is generally very common in India because in India, most of us have a predominantly vegetarian diet which is lacking in these essential vitamins and minerals that are required for making blood. But anemia can also be because of more serious blood disorders, serious blood disorders that affect your bone marrow. So bone marrow is basically the place where all blood cells of the body are formed. And when this bone marrow gets diseased in diseases such as leukemia, aplastic anemia, there can be inherited disorders of the bone marrow like thalassemia, where anemia can be the predominant symptom. So anemia could be something very simple to something very sinister. So risk factors for anemia are many. So if you are a child who is predominantly on a milk-fed diet, milk-based diet, that puts the child at risk of anemia. Menstruating women are at risk of anemia. Pregnant women are at risk of anemia because they are carrying a baby, their demands are again very high. Individuals who have chronic kidney disease who are undergoing dialysis, they are at risk of developing anemia. Individuals who have any chronic health condition, that can put you at risk for anemia. Apart from that, if you are not maintaining good food hygiene, you are getting worm infestations, that can be a risk factor for anemia. And any other serious blood disorder, if there is an underlying serious blood disorder, that is of course going to lead to anemia. So treatment options for anemia, anemia, if I would like to clarify, it is not a disease in itself, it's a symptom of an underlying problem. So the treatment is obviously directed at treating the underlying problem. If the cause of anemia is any deficiency of any nutrient in the diet like iron, folic acid or vitamin B12, then we need to correct that through nutritional supplementation oral supplementation, even parenteral IV supplementation. IV iron has very good results in older individuals. But apart from that, we need to do a thorough investigation of any individual who presents to us with anemia. A basic complete blood count with a good peripheral smear examination is actually the gateway to the diagnosis of anemia that why you are suffering from anemia. And one population that we must protect from anemia is our elderly population. In elderly individuals, if there is unexplained iron deficiency anemia, in, in fact adults also, we must refer them to a gastroenterologist and endoscopy and colonoscopy must be done to rule out blood loss from the GI tract which can rarely even be due to cancer. So just having anemia is not all anemia is not iron deficiency anemia. It needs thorough investigations and it should be evaluated properly to identify the root cause and to treat it accordingly. So we can prevent anemia through certain simple measures. First of all, for small children, I'd like to say that it is very important to start their weaning process at the age of six months. The child should be introduced to solid foods at the age of six months and not solely depend on milk for their nutritional needs. That would help in preventing anemia. Babies who are born preterm are routinely prescribed iron supplements, which should be given. Apart from that, uh, young women, women of menstruating age group, pregnant women, they must be very, very, uh, you know, they must be very conscious of their iron intake and they should take their iron supplementation very seriously.
Apart from that, in our school-aged children, the government has deworming programs. So, taking anti-helminthic medication for deworming at six monthly intervals will also help in preventing anemia. Taking a wholesome diet which is rich in nutrients, minerals, proteins will ensure that you do not develop anemia. And in case somebody notices that you are looking very pale or you yourself start feeling tired, fatigued, please do get yourself tested. A simple blood test of CBC will identify if you're suffering from anemia or not so that you can go for a checkup to the doctor. The cause of anemia can be identified and appropriate treatment can be started. For older individuals, if they are having any bleeding, especially blood in the stools, they must visit the doctor because anemia could be, uh, it could be related to some uh, other chronic illness, some other gastrointestinal disease, which could be even very serious. So getting your routine health checkup done would prevent, would help in preventing anemia. Subscribe to our YouTube channel and press the bell icon to get the latest healthcare updates.